Hello, Pablo. How are you doing? Pretty good, thank you. Good. Hello, Luca. Pablo Vidarte, CEO, founder of an interesting, very interesting company as uh, Biotech. Tell us about, about the company. What is the underneath technology that you, that you thought, that you found some years ago, and what is the main purpose of this company? Well, uh, our company, Bio, it's cool, um, it basically started five years ago with the concept of uh, creating electricity from nature itself. And we developed different technologies. And right now we're launching one specific te technology uh, focused on uh, treating plants as biological switches. Imagine going inside a hotel room and placing your hand above plants on a green wall and being able to turn on the lights of, of the whole room. Uh, and imagine the implications that this could have in a greater scale. Just our goal here is to be the ones who create that evolution of cities. And that's what we want to do in, in the line of installations that we are launching right that now. That seems magical, Pablo, isn't it? Because it um, is. <laughs> but real also at the same time. And logically, uh, linked to the pandemic, linked to COVID-19, uh, some months ago, you launched a new product, a new uh, innovative uh, way of understanding this technology uh, that we called, that you called, uh, Healing Gardens. Would you like to talk about, about what is, in fact, Healing Gardens? What are the, these, uh, these, let's say, alive monuments mm -hmm. uh, through plants and through technology you, you master? Absolutely. Well, first of all, I wouldn't call it a product. I would say it's a project uh, because first of all, this all came up because of the COVID-19 situation. We thought about how can we help here? And we are not experts in making masks or respiration systems, uh, but we thought about what if we could uh, support uh, the people that have been facing this uh, situation like uh, doctors or uh, anyone in, in our society and we thought about creating the healing gardens which is basically a global monument of gardens all around uh, hospitals cities or parks uh, where we could store messages within nature I mean just imagine uh, touching the leaf of a plant and hearing the voices of people that have passed through this um, imagine for example a doctor who has uh, gone through a really heart issue and he suddenly changes his environment he goes to to a green garden uh, surrounded by nature and then he touches the leaf of a plant and he starts hearing uh, messages from the families of patients that he has taken care of and that impact it's extraordinary i mean it's exactly the kind of thing that they they need in those situations and and apart from that um this whole thing started as a global memory for our society to never uh, forget what has happened uh, but after all um this uh, project diverged and and transformed into something that was even better even even more interesting because uh, it, it was no longer uh, just um, a time capsule of uh, COVID-19, but a time capsule of humanity itself, a global memory, a library of Alexandria within nature. I mean, imagine a monument uh, that was placed all around the world within nature, and uh, that was a monument in constant evolution, that each year you could be placing more messages from humanity, from his, its different history. Different targets, different messages. Ex exactly. And also with, with different sponsors or different location. We are talking about imagining a hospital, I think, uh, uh, gardens of, uh, of, some, of some country, of some or something in the, in the countryside or in, in, in directly in the city. What, what kind of, uh, of usage is, uh, has this, this project? In any way, we can, we can place that, I suppose. Uh, exactly. I mean, uh, bear in mind that when talking about the installations line, we are talking about uh, using this technology to uh, power screens or, uh, well, turn on screens in this case, or turning on lights, sound, whatever you want. If you want to place something like this in an airport uh, just to uh, promote a brand or just to make things easier for people, I mean, uh, I mean, you could just place it on on a uh, on a normal house and and use it to turn the lights of, 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 of your room or even use it as uh, 
something to showcase that you're actually investing uh, for sustainable energy. I mean, this is something very important because I've met a lot, a lot of companies such as uh, supermarkets or hotels or a lot of companies who, who are investing a lot in solar panels and green roofs, but uh, people, uh, the average client, never sees this. So, so the real face of sustainability in, in terms of business and in terms of customer relations also. Yeah, right? I mean, imagine just going inside a hotel and being able to touch the leaves of, of plants or, or green rolls and, and being able to, to actually have an experience with this. Because what we are offering is an experience or an emotion. And this is the change that we are creating. It's no longer about cities built of concrete and that's it but actually of creating a symbiosis between nature and technology and being able to, to use it, not just as a decoration, but actually as something practical that it's uh, useful for us. That's great. Then you talk about, you, in fact, you are, you are mentioning shops, hotels, uh, restaurants, uh, uh, cities, gardens, uh, etc. So it, it is a, a sort of limitless uh, uh, space. Um, talking about the future, it, this green domotic that you are that you are uh, talking about, uh, do you think that has no limit? In fact, that we are just at the beginning of uh, a new green sustainable revolution through this technology. Do you think that? I do think so. Uh, but first of all, here in Bia, what we are doing are different technologies. For example, with installations, we are creating an, an evolution in cities. And of course, we are just starting. This is just the beginning because, I mean, we spoke about how we could uh, create a social project or how we could revolutionize streets or monuments or even just uh, transforming experiences in, in, in shops uh, or city halls or whatever. Uh, but wonder how it will be for the minds of uh, average people who, who go there and, and see these projects, how it will impact them. Because right now we are facing a great challenge and it's basically to uh, recover what we lost. I mean, and the first thing that we have to recover are cities. Right now it's just a floor of concrete, but we need to revolutionize that. And, and for a greater purpose. And basically, our goal right now is this, and in the future, we would even uh, go into the countryside and, well, do even greater things with uh, our auto technologies. But of course, we're just in the beginning. And I see the future as a fantastic um, horizon. Great technology, great idea, um, successful idea also, I think, from a business point of view for many for many partners that you that you have and that you will have. I'm with you about, about the sustainable, real, touchable um, way of understanding biology in general, but also plants and green companions that we have in the house and in the gardens that we have. Thanks a lot, Pablo, for that. Thanks Thank you very much, Luca. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. Bye -bye.